Oh man, it is hot. I mean, it's not so hot today, but I tell you what, in general, the weather is definitely getting hotter and hotter and hotter. Now, whenever, when I was a kid, I used to, uh, I've always been interested in weather. And when I was a kid growing up, I always used to watch the news, watch what the weather was going to be. And summertime at home was always, always going to be 27 to 29 degrees Celsius every day. Uh, and about 20 at night. That was pretty much the standard. 20 to 28. That was a standard as a kid growing up. Well, this year, oh man, it has been like every day has been 31 degrees, 32 degrees, uh, up to, you know, high 30s, 38, 39, and high humidity as well. So it's just been, <laughs> you know, it's it's just so hot and you're just sweating. And I don't have air conditioning and, and uh, well, it's something I really need to get is some air conditioning because... If it's just going to keep getting hotter and hotter, then fine. <laughs> I'm going to need some air conditioning. And it'll be good to use in winter as well on the reverse cycle. But mate, these people that uh, deny glo global warming, um, I mean, it's, it's true, man. It's true. It's hot. It's getting hotter. It's definitely, that was, I mean, I'm, I mean, I'm talking 35 years ago when I was taking notice of this sort of stuff, but it's definitely got hotter. It's definitely three degrees warmer every day than it used to be. Now, in saying that, uh, the, there are some good benefits about that is that I think it's actually getting wetter as well. So, where, at least where I live, um, you know, it seems to be raining more, and um, but it's which means it's humid as anything every day. It's hot. It's humid. It's 32 degrees at the moment. It's not normally this hot, but um, the last few years just been getting hotter and hotter. So um, definitely, uh, it's something to well be concerned about a little bit. I'm not too worried about it, but hey, just means I've got to spend a couple of grand getting some air conditioning put in this place or else I just lie in sweat all day. And where I live is the tropics, so it's always humid, and with this extra heat, brings the extra humidity, and it's hot as anything, man. Not that I'm, like, totally complaining, because I do like it warm. I prefer it warmer than colder, because I can tend to cool down easier than warm up. And at least you can still go outside, go for a swim, go to the beach, go swim in the pool, uh, whereas if it was colder, I'd probably maybe be walking a lot more, but I wouldn't be swimming or um, enjoying the outdoors. So, I don't know. Have you noticed a change in temperature? Like, I've been following weather for years. I love weather. So, I don't know if anyone else out there has been doing the same thing. If, if you have, have you noticed it uh, getting hotter? Have you noticed it getting colder? Um, very very interesting subject and it's one that's going to be keep getting thrown around all the time because um you know it's it's real man do you think it's not real do you think it's all made up well i don't know man when you see uh when you're flying and you especially out of the u.s and you just see these smog clouds everywhere and I mean, with how many cars are on the road every day? You know, a billion? It's got to be a billion. You've got to think all those, every one of those engines is hot, creating more heat, uh, pumping more gas into the atmosphere. I wonder how many cars and, uh, like, power stations, I wonder how that would relate to uh, volcanoes, you know? How many extra volcanoes would that compare to every day spewing out all that toxic gas and and um, you know doing what it does to the ozone I just wonder how many that would be hmm who knows anyway um, thanks for watching I'll see you next time